Alright, in the last episode, we had our debut for Manchester City and we did really well in both the actual debut and the professional debut. Conrad Zan has been doing really well. This is because we got injured in the match. I don't know what they mean by disappointing their defeat for Zan. I mean, it's disappointing, yeah. I would have loved to win it but we got injured but it's not anything that important it's just a five-day injury i've already like um simulated past it and now we have the match against wolves they are bang last in the league zero points in four games that is crazy and we are in sixth which is not where we're supposed to be Spurs is actually doing really well as well as ipswich i really don't understand how the hell ipswich has no losses in four games i don't know what the hell is in that team i don't know who the hell is in that team but i'm really really curious to see who who, who exactly they have brought into into their team but now we have the match against um wolves and shit, i forgot i'm accidentally picked um play as the whole team which is annoying because the match is not going to be longer it's not that big a deal i'm pretty sure that we are still going to get a win in this match so let's make sure we go ahead and do that also don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already daily fc25 uploads and you know, daily videos basically all right now we have a solo run and this one is by foden can he get part oh my god oh shit it doesn't work out it doesn't work out as planned I don't even know what the hell happened there, to be honest. Alright, penalty kick from Manchester City. Okay, so Conrad Zan is on this. And this is going to be our first penalty in the City Colors. I'm going top right. And the keeper has no chance with that. Alright, so that is the first goal in this episode. First goal in this match. And we have Conrad Zan getting the goal. And right after that, we have another attack for City. And let's see what we can do here. Okay, let's turn back. Calvin Phillips gets the Haaland. Two more. All right, let's see what I can do here. Okay, doesn't work out as planned. Who is this? Javi. Okay, so it is, it's not working out. So I don't know why, but come on. I mean, we had the ball there. We still had the ball. What the hell is that? But anyways, free kick from Manchester City. Foden is... Okay, I'm thinking of using my player, to be honest, because I want to try and go for goal here. Um, it's not really that risky because um, we are playing the full team highlights. So I'm pretty sure that um, Wolves is not going to be getting a goal in this match. So let's hope that we can get a goal here. This is going to be interesting. The keeper makes a very good save, but we don't get a goal, sadly. And we have yet another penalty. All right, so that is two penalties for Konradzan. Haaland is normally the penalty taker, but, you know, when a 95 rated player is in your team, there's really nothing that you can do about it. He takes the penalties, and that is the second goal in this match. Two penalties in a row, and that is really good. Next up, we have a counter-attack, and... Alright, so let's see what we want to do here. Calvin Phillips, nice, and... Okay, we still have the ball, Haaland nice okay i was expecting to use his head there but that is so versatile that is so versatile from hala that is such a good goal all right so wolves have the counter attack here and we should be inclined to you know stop that from happening all right so they're still with the ball yeah it's their ball initially so i think if we get the ball from them here we might still get a counter attack come on yeah we do exactly Oh no, oh no, that's just a very stupid pass, come on. And we have another counter-attack from Manchester City and Zan is looking to be in a very good position and that is a good pass. Cut inside, shoots and uh, it didn't work out. Free kick for Wolves, this is probably the penultimate um, highlight. Okay, they go shorts. I don't think we can get a counter-attack out of this though. We don't. They, they get the ball back. What the fuck? Nice from again. All right. So I think it's one more opportunity. We are on a hat trick. Oh, shit. They have a solo run. So I don't think we're going to be getting our hat trick. But we still have 10 points in this match. Oh, we have a counter though. So that is a good thing. What the hell is that pass? I, I tapped it. And I don't know why I went that far. But anyways, that is a good win. Uh, we got two goals, two penalties, and then an assist to Holland, which 
was really really good the floating ball over the defense i mean they had no chance with us and yes we got all of our objectives we also got a 10.0 match rating as well as well as the man of the match yet again what did this guy look like Cole Palmer, though? this um writing manager next up we have the carabao cup though against newcastle united i'm going to i don't think i need to trade for this match i'm not really interested in playing the like the a match for the carabao cup so i would simulate it let's hope that we do score um we win it four goals for our team we score a goal yes so that is good and next up we have ipswich and they have gone down to sixth position so that is really interesting let me look at exactly what has happened there so spurs is still first position they are still undefeated with 13 points and arsenal has gone down to seventh that's shocking but we are up to to um 13. crystal palace has also done really well um so far i mean it's just five games into the season but i mean i mean i wouldn't take it away from them they've done they've done really well so we got a 10 point match rating at that match so that is one skill point allocation i think i might i mean there's a possibility for working on the crosses so our curve will get to 99 and our crossing will get to 90 to 94 with this but let's see what this is long pass vision then this one is long pass and short pass i'm going to go with that and we are up to 96 now okay that is crazy we're moving really fast i don't even understand how it's moving so fast i believe that um, you need more skill points I, I mean the higher you go but i don't know why it's moving that fast but i mean i'm, I'm going to take it a 96 rated player um after a great performance in the match against newcastle Haaland is name player of the match or that's good for him but now we have ipswich in sixth position and i really wish that i could see what this team looks like but i'm going to be playing the highlights for this and this time i'm remembering to click on my player it's really interesting when you have control over your defense to make sure that um the opposition doesn't score i end up getting like 3-1 against us after a match I and mean, that shit is really annoying but i mean it defeats the whole purpose of player car mode so i'm just going to stick to my to my player alone all right so we're starting with a manchester city attack we are with the ball here and Haaland is looking okay Foden is looking like he's in a better position if we can get this to him but Haaland looking even better can you score this no you i mean i was not confident in him passing so i just told him to shoot it but all right so we have another one here we're trying to we're going to try and get Haaland in behind and the defense does really well there to get it from him. All right, now it's a counter attack. And I'm looking to... I really hope they don't pass this to me straight up. Haaland, Haaland, Haaland. Nice. Cut inside. Trevilla. And the, the keeper had no chance with that. The keeper had no freaking chance with that. That was crazy. All right, we have another counter attack right after that one. So I'm really hoping that they do not give this to me again. Haaland again. Nice. Brilliant. Please score this. Please score this. Definitely. All right. So that is um, a goal and an assist for Conrad Zan in this match. We are really lighting up the Premier League. Scoring goals, giving assists. It's, it's awesome, to be honest. Uh, it's still 2 nil up. We're still 2 nil up. And, okay, we have yet another one. That's crazy. All right. Uh, okay, nice. All right, uh, let's try and get in position here. Oh shit, we lost the ball. All right, so we have a free kick. We still haven't scored a free kick in our career at all. And this is looking like it could be a really good shot. We are, our curve is on 95. Our free kick accuracy is also really crazy. So I'm thinking that this will be enough to get a goal. But that is too little power. Shit, I just want to get a fucking goal in this match. It ends 2-0. We get a goal. Haaland gets a goal as well from our assist. I think our goal was also like a Haaland assist. So uh, we're, we're looking pretty good in this in this um in this match City team. And I'm also not forgetting that Ballon d'Or that we are supposed to win. I swear to god, if we don't win it in this episode, or rather, if we don't win it this season, it's going to be that's going to be cap. Like real fucking cap to be honest. But anyways, we have a an insignificant match <laughs> against a team that I do not know. Let me look at the name real quick. FCSB. I have no idea what team this is, but I really do not think that we should have a problem here. We've played only one and we won that match 2-0. A couple other teams have played their other matches, so we are kind of behind here. So let's take this match really quick. I'm going to simulate it and I'm really hoping that we do get a win here. Even if my player doesn't score, I'm really hoping that we do get a win here because... Oh yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Haaland gets a brace. 
Javi scores and we get a break as well. So that is our Champions League debut in Manchester City. I just realized that we have gotten past 100 goals and I believe that it might have been in the previous match that we played. We have 105. So it's not in the previous match that we played. We got that goal in this episode. I just don't know when because I wasn't paying attention. But I mean, we have... <laughs> over 100 goals already in 88 appearances i don't think anybody can ever get like a goal ratio of 2.0 and above that is going to be insane next up though we have manchester united that is going to be conrad zand's first manchester derby then we have um the Euro euros qualifiers against netherlands that's going to be an important match i'm going to play the highlights of that and then i will simulate this one against crystal palace and i will play this one to end the episode there so in the next episode we're probably going to be seeing if we do lift the ballon d'or I really hope that we do though that's going to be on the 2nd of november because every every first monday in november if i'm if i'm not wrong but anyways the manchester united match is now i really don't like the fact that we are wearing the away kits in manchester in manchester united stadium oh god it's, it's so annoying I mean, it's supposed to be the blue one but there's really nothing i can do about it now i don't want to restart the game just for that i mean it's not like the kids are clashing or anything so oh our first Manchester Derby, let's see how we do. We have been popping goals left, right, and center in this in this episode, in this season in total. And let's see if you know we can do more of that in this match. Alright, that is dangerous and that is such a good save. I don't even know who shot that. Is that Xerxy? I have no idea. I don't know what I don't know what they're doing right now. Oh my god, Xerxy and they score. Shit. All right, so that is the first goal in this Manchester derby, and it's not looking good for us. We are down to be 5.5 just like that. All right, I have no idea what he's doing, but let's try and support him. Maybe. Oh, all right. So I feel like we beat the keeper there. It was just a little too high. All right. Um. Okay, let's see if we can bring Holland into this. Uh, he does get ahead on it, but I mean, it's not it's not very, very powerful. All right, Xerxy is looking to be such a problem. That's the second time that is happening. All right. Nice. Can we get this? Trevella and the keeper is able to save that easily. All right, that is that is a close. But that was actually a really good pass from Haaland. I can't believe he actually threaded that through the defense very well. And of course, my player is fast enough to deal with that. All right, Xerxes is really proving to be such a pain in the ass, and that is the second goal for them. I think that is Mason Mounts. That is quite odd that he will score, but I mean, good for them. All right, so we're not looking good here. I really do not want to lose against freaking Manchester United. That is kind of embarrassing, but I mean, let's see what we can do. I mean, the first half hasn't gone really well, but I mean, we have the whole... Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck is that? The keeper had no chance there. We are being absolutely demo absolutely demolished by Manchester United here. The keeper had no chance with that. Okay, Haaland. Nice. Oh, shit. Please score it, Foden. All right, that is good. That is our first assist. I actually wanted to shoot that, but I saw that I was not in a very good position to do that, especially with my weaker foot. And that is such a good, that is such a good pass to Foden. And it's a really good volley to put that in the back of the net. I can't believe Foden's volleys are 59. What the hell is that? All right, so we're able to pull one back courtesy of Phil Foden and I and Conrad Zan. So let's see if we can try and make a comeback in this second half. You know what? Nice. Please score this and you can't reach it. He just couldn't reach it. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like a freaking creator in this match. Let's try and get this to Haaland's head. Please come on. All right. Oh, no. That is such a stupid pass. Oh, my God. No, that is another goal for them, isn't it? I don't even know how they just pierce the freaking defense like that. What is our, what is our defense doing? Like, bro. Like now we have three more goals to try and score again and that is just very uncomfortable okay wing play to Foden all right Haaland did really well there but um it wasn't it wasn't the best that could have been done in that situation to be honest oh so we do steal the ball in a very interesting position can we score from here the keeper is able to catch that. I don't, I don't really, I don't really know how good our weaker foot is with those finesse curves. 
I mean, there's no way in hell they were winning this match. I mean, it's, it's long gone already. It's like long gone. I look at that. I mean, we can't even <laughs> we can't even string like more than five passes together. Like it's crazy. All right, that's the end of the match. It's a rather embarrassing win. I thought that after um, we assisted Tony there at the, at the end of the first half, it was going to um, look up for us. But the defense just wasn't it. They didn't do as well as they should have. I don't even know what the fuck is up with the defense in this game, to be honest. But it's something that we just have to look past. And we will get the better of them in the next match. Taliska did really well, though, to get a brace in that match. Next up, we have the match against Netherlands. All right, we are looking at Netherlands in this match. They, we are in the Johan Cruyff Arena. That is their home. So this is probably going to be a pretty difficult match to get past but i feel like we should be able to to pull through why is schlotterbeck starting that is crazy or right, we have a counter attack to start should i go wide or should i go central i think central will be the best option definitely and then we'll try and never mind we'll just try the trivella from here and obviously we're never going to miss stuff like that from that close we're never going to miss it and next up we have a crossing opportunity I think we might be in a good position here. So let's try and... Well, nothing came of that. It's not very good. Our Musella is still with the ball. Can we get... Never mind. Next up, we have yet another crossing opportunity. We are all the way in the 70th minute now. And it's not looking good, basically. It's not looking good. And that is just a very stupid-ass pass. And that is it. That is the end of the match. It ends 2-1. We lose the match. I mean, I really... It's it's annoying because they just did absolute shit in that match. Look how fast it went by. Like, it was like three freaking scenarios that we had. And that's the end of the match. And like, we didn't really have any clear-cut chances apart from that first one. The counter-attack. And thank God that I was able to put that away. So that is yet another annoying loss. But in the Premier League, we are back down to sixth position. Spurs is still undefeated in this in this um season that is mad if switch has gone down okay they lost to us and i mean i mean ever since they lost to us i don't think it was going to go well for them anymore we have who right now crystal palace who are currently in third position but i do not want to play it i'm going to simulate the match and let's hope that we do get a win here because if we don't that's just going to be really sad and we do we score we get a brace Haaland gets a red card that is quite rare I mean, it's something that should happen pretty soon in real life to be honest but we do really well next up we have the match against Borussia Dortmund the match against our old team and we are in our home stadium so Dortmund is coming to our yard now the last time we played against our old team was against Leverkusen and we beat them black and blue in that match to be honest so I'm really hoping that that is going to be the case for us here so both Haaland and I are going up against our old club this is going to be a match a very important match for Konrad Zan because it's something that he must win no matter what I mean, it's a lot of pride on the line here. So I'm really, really hoping that he does a good job. Having dribble success rate of 30%, that's what I'm going to be enhancing. And let's get into this match. If you have enjoyed the video so far, make sure to hit the like button. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Daily FC25 uploads and more. Okay, that is nice from Guardio. Can we get on this? We do. And we're still with the ball. Can we get this to Holland? Yes, we can. Can he get head on it? Uh, he does, but Kobo is able to make a good save. I forgot that Kobo is another really, really good keeper in this game. But I don't know what the defense is doing. Come on, get this out to me. Thank you. Nice. Touch grass, please. Holland looking good. And that is not a very good pass. I wanted it to go through the defense. Nice. We're on the run. Nice. Cut inside. Score. Definitely. And that is the first goal. That is the first goal, and we're not going to celebrate. I mean, Dortmund did really well with us. I mean, we won two trophies with Dortmund, so that is not something that I'm going to be celebrating for. It was a really good goal, though. I mean, we had a lot of time to, to turn and shoot that past the keeper. Kobo had no chance. Kobo knows who the fuck I am from training, and well, there's no way in the hell that he was going to be getting that. All right, they're looking really dangerous here. Adeyemi is another really good player. That is good from Kabore. Let's get this out. Shite, I'm already... No, come on, I was already offside. Like, the game should have enough IQ. The AI should have enough IQ to know that when I'm offside, they shouldn't pass the ball. Because it's not like I called for it when I was offside or anything. Alright, this Bayer guy has done really well. 
in recent matches from what I've seen on the news, by the way. But this is going to be a good counter-attack if we can get this out. No, I was right there. I was right there. All right, nice. Come on, I'm on the offside. Why did it take two million years to make one bloody pass? Don't let him shoot this. That's a good save. Really good save from Ederson. And you? Come on, have sense, please. He didn't have sense, actually. But, all right, so we still end up with the ball. Nice. Javi. Oh, uh, that is a nice pass, but I did not get on the end of it. I, w I didn't start running on time. Oh, that is a back pass. What the hell is that? Nice. All right, so we have a chance to score here. No, we don't. It's long gone. All right, so we move on. It's already the, the end of the first half. And, I mean, we had a really good first half, pretty much. We did really well. We scored a goal. My voice is so strained right now for some reason. I don't know why. All right, nice. Okay. Fode, I'm already offside. Sorry, he's already offside. Shy, that was my bad. I took a heavy touch there, and that was the that was the consequence of that. I don't know if this one goal lead is something that our defense is going to be able to hold on to. So we need to score a second goal ASAP as soon as possible. That is nice from Ruben Diaz. Oh my god. Oh my god. A double block. Alright, they go they, they shoot it out wide and they go that for a goal kick. That we're so lucky there. We we're so freaking lucky there. And the keeper gets out to me. Who can I get this to? Nice. It doesn't actually work out. But we still end up with the ball though. Nice. Nice. That is brilliant play. How 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 how? Come on, that makes no sense. That makes no bloody sense. Oh my god, that is brilliant. Please score this. Yes. Yes, that is what I am freaking talking about. I do not mean to celebrate. Oh my god. I, I got carried away there. <laughs> I got carried away there, man. But that is such a good goal. That is such a good goal, man. I mean, the celebration wasn't that disrespectful. I mean, we're just like talking to the fans. But that is such a good pass from Haaland. The link up play there was top notch. And well, the final pass from Haaland and the final finish from and Conrad Zan was, was spot on and man that's exactly what I needed a second goal and well we got that right, so could we possibly be haunting oh my god how the hell did they let him that makes no sense that makes no fucking sense at all they just let him run into the fucking defense I, I mean just piss off man just piss off that is just so annoying get this out to Kabore Burden to Javi Nice. Back to Javi. Shit, I couldn't get that final pass on. We have to watch out for Marlin. We have to watch out for Adeyemi. Alright, nice. Nice. Please don't fuck this up. Please just pass it to me. Just pass the fucking ball. Just pass the fucking ball. Oh my god. I swear to god if they score this. God. Alright, Haaland, I'm with you. Foden, I'm with you. Nice. Nice. Can we score this? No, we can't. And oh my god. I thought he was going to use the inside of his left boot there instead of him to use his right boot to shoot. Because that is so unfortunate. Alright, we do not need to draw this match. I would like three wins out of three in the Champions League. Because that is exactly what this Manchester City team is capable of. That is a good block. Nice. Alright. Can we get past the defender? We should be able to cut inside. Nice. Cut inside this one as well. Haaland. Brilliant. And he's not able to get the pass. I mean, he got blocked off, so I, I completely understand that. Nice. Can I score this? The keeper makes a good save. I didn't even know which direction I wanted to shoot there. I just shot it anyhow. All right, that's the end of the match. A 9.8 match rating. And that is a really good match against Dortmund. We have won it against our own club. We actually had one hell of a scare there at the end. Where, I don't know if it was Marlin. But someone almost scored though, but... I mean, we pulled through, and that's what matters. All right, that is three wins out of three in the Champions League. And we got all of our objectives this time around. We actually got a 9.9 .9 match rating. That is, that is good. And with that, we are sitting right on top of the Champions League table with nine points, as well as Arsenal and Barcelona. Arsenal is not joking. Arsenal is really chasing us in both the Premier League and the Champions League. I mean, it's good for them, though. But next up, we have the match against Southampton. It's not going to be a match that 
should give us any issues so i'm just going to simulate that in this episode and let's hope that we can get a win we do get a win we do get the goal that gets us to win so that is one nil against southampton and that is yet another win in the premier league and with that we have gone back up to second place spurs has finally lost the match and west ham has taken their place as the first we still haven't gotten to first position this season so i really hope that that changes like after the next match i don't know who we're playing aston villa so that's going to be a really a relatively tough match but we have um Huddersfield in the Carabao Cup next though we're not going to do that in this episode by the way we have 18 goals and 8 assists that is 26 goal contributions in just 15 games that is a super start to the season I don't even know if we did this good in the previous season but anyways my camera is dead yet again but this is the end of the episode if you guys have enjoyed it make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already turn on your post notifications so you can find out when i drop new fc25 videos which is daily by the way so um, i'll see you in my next video peace